Last time on SV Sparkle Muffin. I test steel wire cutters and an emergency manual pump. Ian, Gwen, Bill and I set sail to try out some changes to the boat. With the prep work and testing done, it's an exciting time for Sparkles and me. Bill, his friend and able crewman Dan, and I meet to plan and discuss a trip outside the bay. We have three days and two nights and want to go to either Half Moon Bay to the south or Drake's Bay to the north. I'd prefer to go to Drake's Bay, but after closely examining the forecast conditions, we decide we may not have enough time to get there and back. Plus, it's not clear that the conditions at anchor will be comfortable so we opt for Pillar Point Harbor in Half Moon Bay, which is well sheltered and for this trip offers more favorable potential sailing conditions. The key to this trip is timing the entrance and exit through the San Francisco Bar, where shoaling can make for uncomfortable and even dangerous conditions if you're not paying attention. So we decide to anchor at the northern foot of the Golden Gate Bridge the first night and set ourselves up for an early morning transit through the gate. And we're underway, heading south from San Rafael for the first port of call, Horseshoe Bay by Point Cavallo. It's not long before the Golden Gate Bridge peeks at us tantalizingly from around the Tiburon Peninsula. We reach the harbor entrance in the early evening. When we arrive, it's pretty full, so we circle around a bit, deciding what to do. I don't yet have a dinghy, so if we don't dock, we won't be able to go exploring on land. In particular, there's a bar here with somewhat of a reputation that would be fun to check out. However, the only spot that's available for us to dock is in the far back corner, and I feel like the tight, shallow area could be challenging to maneuver. It just doesn't feel comfortable to me. So we make the call to anchor in the bay and forego shore leave. Good job, Captain. <laughs> Thank good you. Good anchoring. I had, I had good crew. Good, good anchoring and good snubbing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I've been Cheers. snubbed. Yes, snubbed. Yeah, thanks for snubbing us. This anchorage was Bill's idea, and what a fantastic suggestion it was. We were treated to the most spectacular views of the Golden Gate Bridge and the San Francisco night skyline. The video does not do it justice.
We awake early and enjoy a peaceful, scenic sunrise while Bill's famous coffee slams open our eyelids. This is Sparkle Muffins and my first time together going under the Golden Gate. There she is, the other side of the Golden Gate. And just like that, we're in the Pacific Ocean. I practice using the jack line system to go forward to the mast to secure the main halyard, which is flopping around. I decided on a centerline jackline system to give crew mobility but keep us away from the edge of the vessel. I feel this is safer than the common practice of jacklines on the side of the deck, where it's still possible to go over the side. Wasn't so bad. Thank you. Some action of Dan on the helm. Helmsman extraordinaire. That's right, yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't do that, man. You only want good stuff for your... <laughs> this is all good stuff. <laughs> Bill, able seaman. <laughs> That's all I want to be doing is. <laughs> you do have kids, so I guess you, you definitely have able seaman. <laughs> Thank you for the validation. <laughs> Hi guys. It's a party. <laughs> Dude. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bill and I practice our celestial navigation skills as best we can in the cloudy conditions. Dan tackles the important job of recording the times of observations. Later I do some navigation work down below. Unfortunately, we did a lot of motoring because there just wasn't enough wind to sail. And when you're on a schedule, that's what you gotta do. Finally, we do get some wind, hoist the sails, and enjoy a bit of sailing. are going to the marina too. Yeah, they'll be anchoring up. Mm -hmm. Finally we arrive and anchor at Pillar Point Harbor. It's calm and peaceful except for that horn chiming every 10 seconds. All night long. Right here in the water. <laughs> yeah, we could boil the boil, pasta in there. Boil the pasta in the seawater. Yep, as the bottle says, it's simple, rich, and real. What kind of tomatoes were they? San Marzano from Italy. 
San Marciano. <laughs> it yep. was made by Luigi. <laughs> Bill made us a hearty ravioli dish for dinner, and Dan brought a tasty, fresh salad to round it out. Oh, uh, it hits the spot. Thank you, man. Hey, you bet. My roommate in uh, college, he'd fix up stuff like this, and uh, he'd refer to uh, garlic as Italian penicillin. He's right. There's all kind of antimicrobial properties. Garlic. An Anti-vampire. Anti-vampire, too. Uh, God, what a what a great initial out of the bay cruise! Really, I mean, I know we have another leg to do, of course, but God, it's been just awesome. Next stop, Fiji. <laughs> After dinner, we relaxed in the quiet stillness of the night. They all came up in a coordinated effort. Oh. Whoa! Oh, cool. I got it! The whales were such a memorable feature of this trip. Unfortunately, the camera failed to capture their full splendor, as its wide angle made all the encounters appear smaller and farther away than they truly were. Back in the bay, we turn north and head for home berth. Looks like he's winning the race. <laughs> nice. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me on this amazing trip. Take just a second to hit the subscribe button now because I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers and just a simple click from you actually makes a huge difference. Thank you.